Alright guys, um, I know a lot of you out there have one of these guys and you try to call Xbox and you tell them, oh, my Xbox is having a problem and it's telling me that it is unable to read the disc or oh, it won't be able to play the game. I'm going to give you a very easy way to fix it without even unscrewing anything. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to turn off your Xbox. And let me explain for to to you guys. This is only for those with that says cannot read this or cannot play this, and it says to clean the the game disc and restart the Xbox and call Xbox support, whatever. Get out of here, boy. And this is an easy way to fix it. Then it, I repeat. All right. So what's gonna happen is you just turn off your Xbox. You're gonna remove your hard drive. I'm not actually gonna do it. I'm just telling you to do it. Remove the hard drive. Put it back in there. Turn on your system. Turn on your controller. All right. Wait for it to come up. It's my dog, beautiful dog. All right. So now here's the thing. Here's the dashboard. Now what you're gonna do is go over to your system files. Go over to memory. All right. As you can see the screen. Now hit Y. And from this screen, you don't do anything. Get your controller, and you're going to press the following sequence. You're going to press XX, left bump, right bump, then XX. Now, this screen should pop up. This is the ticket item right here. It says maintenance storage device. This will perform a maintenance on your Xbox 360 storage devices. Do, do you want to continue? What you're going to do is you're going to hit yes. Now, what this does is your hard drive has corrupted files from the game update and what it, this process what is it doing what is doing is pretty much going through your hard drive and deleting all the corrupted files to get rid of that unreadable disk message so after this when it's done it should go back to the screen it's gonna go back to your dashboard and you're gonna restart turn it off and turn it back on and put it in your disk and it should read, read the disc correctly and you should be able to play the game smoothly without saying those unreadable disc messages and unplayable disc messages. That's pretty much, it's pretty much it. Pretty much it. What that process did was it got rid of all the corrupted files and that's it, pretty much. And a lot of people don't know this. It's just a shortcut and yeah, I hope it works for you. Good luck, guys.